So keep the fume, the, the muted. Well, if you want to keep yourself muted, you don't have to for now while we're getting started. And speaking of getting started, welcome everybody in collectives. <laughs> um, yeah, this is going to be fun, buddy. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna, be it's gonna be big fun, buddy. This is a big game, big fun, buddy. Um, and as we wait for the possibly fifty viewers to pull in, uh, I want to welcome not only everybody from the collective joining here into the stream, but I also want to welcome a very good friend of mine who is with me today, uh, sadistic who I have been, he, he is not an official commentator of, uh, of, of Collective, but, um, but, but he is, he is a good friend of mine, and I, I will be bringing him in. Oh, and I already messed up. It's okay, and I, I greatly appreciate it. And now we gotta wait five minutes, because I messed up. If Don't I, you love that? If I can wait, five five minutes is a long time to wait. It, it's it's a very long time. Are you able to hold yourself for that long? I don't know. I have very bad, like ADHD. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I just drift um, off. Just yell at me. Okay, that's fine. We'll just, uh, we'll, I'll, I'll wake you up by, um, what, what do we have? What, what do I have that's loud? You can just uh, call me by my other name. Just yell Trisha real loud. I'll, 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 I'll look at you. Oh, okay, Trisha. There you go. I'm calling you Trisha now. Um, <laughs> that is a big fact. Four minutes. <laughs> Feels like it's already been seven. I'm not ready for that. I'm not waiting for that. Ugh. Oh. Well, welcome to the first few people finally coming in here. Happy Sunday, by the way. This has been a really big game day. We've had uh, quite a bit of people playing today. And we're going to finish off with the last two games. First, starting off with NH versus F6, which, Trey, I know you aren't familiar with those names i know you aren't in here but they are uh there there's some there, there's some eye watcher teams f6 is actually the undefeated team of their uh of their district right now well congratulations guys and gals whoever's playing we have a we have a couple gals and a couple teams good luck to everybody that's gonna be playing hopefully i don't uh Completely butcher I, your skills, but um, hope hopefully, <laughs> I I know. Oh, sixteen. Well then, we're bringing in a good view count. There we go. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a very big match. Um, I need to stop saying um. We are gonna be starting on Villa today. I accidentally did the wrong map. So, unfortunately, we have to wait for three minutes now, trying to trying to keep you guys entertained. Trey, do you do you have a uh, a friendly joke for that that's that'll last three minutes? That's entertaining. Mm, a friendly joke. Huh. Yeah. I don't know if it's friendly. Oh. But well, that's not even really a joke. So you wouldn't have found out today, right? Um, okay. It's to have kids. Um, yeah. My youngest son <clears throat> got in trouble for some crap at school. And okay. so my daughter, I was like, all right, you need to go brush your teeth and get ready because she was going with the grandma. And, uh, <clears throat> she comes in, she's like, there's something all over my toothbrush. Well, apparently my youngest son got mad at my daughter and decided to use her toothbrush to scrape the crap off of his crack. So, there, that, that happened today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, 
did you really use her toothbrush? And he's like, it's dirt. I'm like, whoa, whoa excuse me, it's dirt? Yeah. It's dirt. And I was like, well, why would you lie to me? He's like, well, it's the same color. <laughs> well, I'm glad I mean, that logic, not only me, but logic? the now, now, now the, uh, now the other 23 people in the stream get to see that as well. Yeah. That was, oh, yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, that, that, that took place today. Uh, with one minute left to wait. <laughs> wait, wait, we, we want to welcome everybody collective for joy. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, uh, yeah, it happened. Oh my god. Oh my lord, I'm so glad I don't have kids. Um, uh, <laughs> oh man, I am just so glad I don't have kids so I don't have to... No, I messed it up again! No, oh my god! Try! <laughs> oh man. There's no way I can fix this map, can I? No, I cannot. Oh my goodness, what the heck? No, it's these poor guys. I've, I've completely ruined the event for you with my story. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. This I'm so dumb and I'm very sorry, Collective. We're going to have to wait another five minutes here to be able to do this. Uh, well, since we have another five minutes and now up to 30 viewers, uh, what, um, you got, you got another story that might last a good five minutes? Hmm. Do I have another story that lasts five minutes? Come on, no. Papa Sadistic. No, 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 another, another no? story. No, no. Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess what I can do, since uh, I guess it's something I should be doing, is we'll talk a little bit about the teams to get you caught up. F6 is one of the older teams at the Collective. They have been pretty well known through every, you know, throughout everyone pretty much knows who they are. Um, I need to stop saying, um, that's going to get me in trouble. Huh. huh. Yeah, so... F6 is one of the OG teams. They're probably uh, one of the better teams, I would say, in my opinion. I mean, seeing as they are, I believe, 7 and 0 now. That's something that's safe to say. Out of all the teams that we have in both divisions, they are definitely up there uh, against one of the better teams, as well as, like, possibly LGI, FG, Prevail, you know. T teams like that. Teams that usually catch people's eyes. One of the... Uh, teams that they are going against today is going to be nh which is a new team that got brought in here to the season they are if i'm not mis i believe they're two wins i believe two across the board if i'm not mistaken i'd have to fact check that but i believe they're two across the board which means two wins two losses and two ties And this also, by the way, for everybody watching the stream on this wonderful Sunday, this is going to be the final last couple of games. Oh, we're up to 40. Nice. As we wait for these last three minutes. But yeah, uh, this is going to be the final games. Uh, this one and then the game we have after this for week eight. Week nine is going to be starting tomorrow. And with that being said, that is only going to be one week closer to the playoffs. Uh, so... Trey, I know you don't. It's hard to it's hard to talk to you about this because I know you don't know much about it. But, but I um, like the game. Yeah, <laughs> if that he counts for anything. I like the game. Am I good at it? Your audio is included, right? <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Um, but yeah, he likes the game, and he is somewhat entertaining to watch play. I mean, yeah, if you like to watch complete scrubs, <laughs> you know, I'm basically a, 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 a bullet sponge, you know, yes. I'm going to, I'm going to, I do a damn good job of telling you where the team is, the, the op opposing team is coming from when I die, you know, that there's somewhere in the general area. 
I uh, I can also agree to this. I use him quite often as bait for when we are playing ranked matches together. <laughs> I'll usually let him walk in the door first, and if he gets shot, then I know, okay, it's not safe to go in there. Yeah, there, there's no peeking corners for me. It's it's all or nothing. <laughs> it's I'm either going to run into the room and get shot, or I'm going to run into the room and not get shot. Exactly, and if I don't, then hell, I got lucky. Yeah. It's a, it's a good, it's a bold strategy. Um, one that I wouldn't recommend, but if it works, it works. It's definitely a change from real life. This is darn first person shooters like Call of Duty and crap. <laughs> so used to run and gun. Yeah, it's hard to play a run and gun game like Call of Duty or Apex or one of those and then to just sort of come back here and you know play this play a strategic take your time hold angles you know drone out type game where you can't really just run and gun oh my goodness how long has it been a minute for 10 minutes now that's a long minute it's been the longest minute there we go now we can get these teams in here Got the right map. It's oh, speak of the kids. <laughs> Look, word of advice, if you ever have kids, when they're quiet, shit is going down. You need to check on them. I, uh, I believe it. Yeah. Quiet kids are right. never a good thing. 12 minutes in, invitations are finally going out again. I am extremely sorry, Collective, uh, for that mishap. That was my fault. Should have had that map preset up before I tried to create the game as a spectator. But then again, it's also a little bit of Ubisoft's fault. As in, why Why do they make you wait that long? Why do, why do they make you wait five minutes? I don't understand. Doesn't doesn't make any sense to me. Sometimes people make a mistake. Can you see the screen? Can you see it? Can you see my TV? Oh, and you're watching the Twitch. Nice. Yeah, I just just I finally found it. Um, oh, I need to stop saying that. It's a bad word to say. How's the Twitch chat looking right now? By the way, everybody, say hello to my friend Sadistic, who is not part of the collective and has never commentated before, but he is going to be my special uh, my special guest today. My little buddy to bring with me so I didn't have to solo host this game today because it is a very big game and I feel another voice on the on the board. Is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, on the board would probably be a little better than one, so... That's why I decided to bring him in. Should have grabbed a water bottle as well. Okay, seems like all of F6 is in. I'm going to try to once again re-invite Eclipse from NH. Didn't think I had anyone else from NH. It looks like the lineup for F6 today is going to be Damage, Flicks, Bacon, Rain, and Sprays. Uh, Sprays is a member that we don't usually see, but a welcome one at least. One of their uh, one of their side players, I believe. Um, someone else we're missing as well. I can't really put my finger on it. Hmm. Who else is on that is usually a starter player? I know F6 Rain... Is it F6 Rain? Hmm. I know Bacon Flicks and Damage are usually always on that team, but there's somebody else that's usually starting as well. Hmm. I guess we'll figure it out. We'll f figure it out later. Ooh, and as we peek up to 45 viewers, welcome everybody. Right now we are just waiting for... 
the members of NH to get in here. I'm gonna. Oh nope nope there he is. And there's NH Eclipse, first member of NH. And that was. Oh, was my dog barking? Because he likes to bark at everything. Okay, it seems like the lineup for NH today is going to be Vadix, Remnants, Home Shot, Eclipse, and Dom. Uh, always weird to see one person that doesn't have a team logo in front of their name. But, glad that they are here. So we can get started up once everybody's ready to go. Is everybody ready? I believe we're good enough. Oh, bacon unreadied. Well, he did ready for a second. I figured that was good enough to go, but whatever. If not, they'll tell me. And now we go into the band phase. Nice. Can't say that I'm a little excited. <laughs> it's like the first time I was ever with a with another. Never mind. I'm not gonna go there. Anyway, you good luck to both teams. Oh. <laughs> ca ca careful, there's there's young there's young ears. 40, 47 viewers watching, and the first band that is going to come out today is going to be uh, Montang. That's going to be a heavy operator off the board. Shield player not being able to be brought into use. <laughs> Trey, you're going to make me lose my position. Um, I'm just messing. I love you, bud. I do. Oh, and that's going to be Jackal off the board as well. Shield and Jackal plays, so roaming is going to be... Whew, it, 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 the, the roam capability of the defending team, which is going to be F6, is going to be huge. Although it was smart to ban that Vigil for F6. They don't have to worry about him now trying to run past their drones. However, with Jackal still being off the board and that Montang for that push upstairs on that roam clear or anywhere in the you know, on the map in general, is going to be extremely hard without something, without bringing maybe a Doka B, maybe, uh, you know, just, I guess, really well drone work. They're going to have to think of something. Echo off the board as well. That's going to be one of the plant denials, possibly just a safe ban is what I am assuming. A cog plant denial and Intel is going to be off of the board. And uh, with the bans already going out, with, with my lovely assistant here, what uh, Sadistic, what do you think, bud? What, what do you think of it so far? I think this is going to be a fantastic matchup between two two very dedicated teams. I like the I like the wording of it. Yes, I agree. Seems they're not going to be bringing in Ash out, which is uh, nice to see because it is going to be replaced by Zofia. Thermite is going to six pick the Thermite, trying to trick out the other team. However, on the other team, there is going to be a Dock in play, which I always love to see, as well as a Maestro. So that's going to be Intel and Plant Denial. No smoke being brought on the board, but they are going to have a Legion to slow down uh, NH from, a <clears throat> from making that push, as well as still having those cams to be able to stop the plant. That's the first room they're going to go down into as well is going to be Trophy. What I'm interested in seeing is how they're going to stop NH from opening up this half wall from Master Bedroom onto site. Because it's one thing to stop him from pushing in from Bedroom. Or not Bedroom, excuse me, from pushing into Bathroom. But it's a whole nother to be able to stop him from getting this half wall. And it looks like it's going to be a strong four-man push. Where's the fifth? Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so yeah, they're going to be doing a strong four-man push. Up on the site is Dom is already opening up that window there from side road. Pre-fire shots are going to go out. The rest of the team is going to four-man push over in the closet, possibly by a fifth. As it looks like they're going to be doing a strong master bedroom push. Ooh, the 
possibly not as Vadix is going to be going down below. And it seems half wall from Master Bedroom is already going to be opened onto site. Drone, we're going out. Vadix is going to be pushing downstairs from Kitchen. Eclipse is going to be doing a little bit of drone work, as well as Remnants. They're just finding out where F6 is right now, trying to figure out how to push. As most move downstairs, but Bomb is still going to, er, excuse me, defuse site. Remnants holding down bathroom from walk-in closet. As Homestop pushes upstairs, and they get the Maestro off the board, this going to be a huge pick with still a minute and a half left. Another home shot, taking down with the refrag on the Vatic. And home shot's gonna get a third off on the damage. It's gonna be all up to Bacon and Sprays. They're gonna have to try to hold these angles and play out this time with still a minute left on the clock. There's gonna be a lot of time to play with, but home shot picks up his fourth. And now it's gonna be all up to Spray. He takes down home shot, finally ending that streak, but Diffuser is going out. Tries to get the shot on the one, but misses. A little bit of panicking here. Brings out the revolver, but gets taken down. But Sprays isn't out, but he is. His Remnants gets the last stab on the Sprays and will take the round. 4NH. <laughs> Sadistic, I know you got something to say, bud. What, what did you think of that round? Oh, I initially thought it was great, especially the four-man team going for the push and then having that fifth kind of divert the attention onto the other side. Um, that guy, I mean, he's really, they're really killing it, man. And then that last push definitely got some cojones. Definitely got some cojones. I couldn't have worded it there better myself, especially that four-piece from Home Shot as he made that push up, uh, I believe it was Red Velvet Stairs. Uh, towards side if I wasn't mistaken that four piece as stature. That's not something easy to do. So good job for home shot Let's see how f6 is gonna hold it down now as they move over to aviator games Blackbeard's gonna be six pick to blackbeard again. Just trying to I guess fool f6 into making them think that they're gonna pick something different No blitz being brought on the board. So not really having to worry about that shield presence but however, last round, that uh, that Maestro getting taken out that early into the round was just, that was a huge pick for NH. That was not only Intel, that was Plant Denial, and that was just an LMGA cog off the board. Sprays is going to get the first Twitch drop down. Twitch right now. It's going to be Dom. If Dom isn't careful, he will not be able to use those Twitch drones to take out those Mira. Uh windows <laughs> just brain just went to nothing went to mush looks like they're gonna be doing a pretty common mirror hold here only thing i hope they do is they add a jaeger here because if not oh well no no there is no frag grenades i guess on the attacking team by nh so i guess they don't really have to worry there As Vadix and Eclipse make their way off onto the balcony right outside, <clears throat> excuse me, um, right outside on a fireplace, they are going to be wasting no time as they just try to take control here. Mirror windows are still watching both that side window there, as well as the main lobby off onto that balcony, or that main door onto the balcony, excuse me. Vadix is trying to push his way up towards 90 hallway, but Flix is... Oh, he tries to go for a run out. If NH isn't prepared, this could be huge. Looks like Remnants is going to try to push over into Master Bedroom, possibly? Yes, it looks like it. it looks like he's gonna master bedroom as Vadix takes a little bit of damage from 90 hallway. Reload. 
Not any kills yet, only a minute left onto the board, but... <laughs> as a lesion mine gets set off by remnants, it seems that... They're gonna have to try to make a push here. As the first kill gets taken out by, uh, home shot? Yeah, home shot. On the flicks, that's gonna be the roaming presence from downstairs. Let's spray, this is gonna get that refrag off the defense. Now F6 is gonna be in the upper hand. 4v4, only 44 seconds left, and the diffuser is still down. Device is going down. Home shot and Dahmer pushing their way into 90 hallway as Eclipse gets his. Dom opening up that mirror window. Ooh, and a flick headshot from Rain off on the Dom is bacon. Takes down Eclipse. Now it's gonna be all up to home shot and Vadix. Vadix gets taken down, and now it's gonna be all up to home shot. He's trying to get the plant. Possibly a bait. Nine seconds left. As damage takes down home shot and bacon is gonna be the one to finish off Maddox for the game winning kill. Or round winning kill. I'm mixing up my words. This is what happens when I don't commentate for a week. Okay. Okay. And now it's gonna be word from sadistic. I'm gonna say that the angle work from these guys is amazing. Absolutely you see amazing. That just that pixel peak yes that, absolutely. Just, just that little pixel peak from rain oh you man it's definitely some tough competition and you know what i have not had a, a blt in a long time i mean this is one of the most fantastic things ever made oh that yeah i do agree blts are quite nice but no these guys are definitely killing it and the, the tension just watching is, is nail biting I say, like, I really, I really don't play this game enough. It, it is definitely one of the most intense games. Yeah, these are very two powerful teams. Uh, top team in the league. And also, for those who don't know, NH and F6 are actually scrim partners. So there's a little bit of tension uh, personally between the two of them. It's going to be a little bit of, uh, you know, who, who's better at what here? As it looks like they are going to try to go upstairs to Trophy Statuary again to do another hold. However, this time no Blitz is going to be brought on the board. Instead, it's going to be a Cade replacing him. from rain down below as Valkyrie just waiting for someone to push here oh very nice Valkyrie spots oh a couple of shots go out but just who was that miss flicks on f6 But unfortunately it wasn't able to go through It looks like it's going to be a three man push On the master bedroom as Rain gets the first kill off On the buck from downstairs Lights out. She's going to be playing oh. in dining room Now it's going to be a 4v4 Ooh and the cage shotgun just missing Onto that drone there as it looks like Remnants is trying to figure out something to do here. Knife's just not being able to connect with that soft door. Pushes his way back over to closet to try to get a little bit of an angle towards bathroom. They're just they're trying to figure out how to open up this wall here. Dom is gonna be pushing her way all the way downstairs. Making her way up red, probably trying to figure out where this Valkyrie is. Knowing that Rain is downstairs, he's going to put up a C4 and does get the C4 from down below as Rain is going to take out Remnants and now it's going to be a 1v1 between him and Dom and Dom is going to be the one to take him out. 3v3, home shot, getting another kill off on the Bacon. And that's going to be the lesion off of the board. Three seconds left, they're going to have to try to go for this plant. As an impact 
Grenade misses by sprays. Still anybody's game here. Backstairs being pushed by Dom, but Elysian's gonna go out to alert his position. As well, the bathroom push from Eclipse. Held. Ooh, his home shot's gonna be the one to take down Sprays. As well as Flix getting the refrag on the Dom, but home shot is gonna take out damage, and now they're gonna go for the plant. And once again, it's gonna be all up to Flix. Just push a little bit more. He would have been able to take down Flix right then and there. Now Eclipse and Home Shot, all, all they have to do is just hold angles. Ooh, just missing the shots. That's Home Shot's gonna get the final kill off onto Flix. And does take that round. That had to have been another four piece, if not it. Was that, that couldn't was that an ace? Was that an ace? Somebody please tell me in the Twitch if that was an ace. But while well, we are waiting in between the rounds, um, sadistic buddy, what what it, what was your input on that one? Dude, that C four, oh my gosh, <laughs> you just, that was nice. You just, oh god, it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I do agree that C four from down below was very powerful. Unfortunately, it wasn't powerful enough to be able to stop them from taking that round good plays all around nh is only up by one but at the moment they're looking like uh, a, a little bit of a threat towards f6's title of the undefeated champs I thought that roam clear ability wouldn't be as effective seeing as the Jackal was going to be taken off the board. However, uh, it seems like they're doing just fine seeing as there's not that much of a roam presence by F6 other than usually one, maybe two people off of sight. Well, the rest of them just seem to be sitting as close to sight as possible, if not on it. Looks like another three-person spawn from side road here. Oh, but it looks like there's going to be... Again, Dom pushing extremely aggressive right now. Trying to get maybe another flick there onto somebody, but it was unable to do so. As Vadix is going to be the one to go for the roam clear. Crane just... Holding down this window by trophy. Is Vadis going to try to push in the trophy entrance? Possibly expecting the run out. He slowly pushes his way up. Just trying to hold angles here. Rain playing smart, not getting too aggressive, and is going to make his way back in the trophy win uh, trophy. Room, excuse me. Seems Remnants is going to yet once again try to get that extra bedroom half wall open. So far, has been able to not do anything about it as Vadix is going to onto that window. Is anyone in there? Ah, Flix is in there. Yeah, so he is going to be making his way onto the window into astronomy. Because as he wastes two, yeah, two, all of them actually, that's all, it's gonna be all of his uh, concussions gone. Wasted onto that Jaeger in astronomy, and now he's gonna be safe to sit there without any presence or anything else coming his way, except for the two concussions going out. Gonna get pinched here. 
As damage is gonna be the one to get that first frag off. That's gonna be the Ying gone. Home shot. Trying to make his way over to astronomy, but unfortunately for him, it was that alibi there to give away his position. Damage is not going to take down one, but two as he takes down both remnants of home shot. But Eclipse and Vanix is going to get the refrag. Fl Flix is going to get that reflag off, <laughs> refrag off on the Vanix, and now it's going to be all up to Eclipse, but he's going to be taken down as Rain gets the final kill. Oh my God, that was so quick! Pool fall was hard to follow, but that is going to be their first successful trophy hold for F6. Sadistic. What do you got to say? This is just the dedication between these two teams, and it's, it's just—it's not. Yeah, that's it's hard. Uh, hard that's to, hard probably... to explain the, you know, the organization and and the communication that you got to have to be able to pull this stuff off oh yeah team chemistry is up there with some of the best here today it seems vadix might be six picking onto somebody else but the maestro is going to be six picked off on a cap can that's a questionable play blitz is still going to be on the board luckily they do have that lesion to try to slow him down however that maestro being taken off the board yes they will have that trap they will uh what gun is he running? Okay, so he is going to be running the BSN. However, there isn't going to be that LMG with the ACOG, that, that Intel, that, that plant denial. It's gone. It's forever gone off the board now. As they decided to replace it with the trap operator. Personally, I would have just stuck with the Maestro. But... Maybe that's just me. Oh, you see the Twitch. There it is. They're going to be doing something that I don't know about. And uh, then again, that's why they're there and I'm here casting. These guys are top of the league right now. And I mean, they're not there for no reason. So let's see if they prove that here today. With no IQ. They're going to have to be careful how hard they try to do this push here. As they try to drone out for Vadix here, Vadix is going to waste no time trying to open up this window on the bathroom. Remnants is going to be pushing with the diffuser or the bedroom. And because they do, they knew where that cap can are or was. They are just being extremely safe. With every door they try to enter into, not trying to take any more unnecessary damage than what they have to. Again, this is just a operator rain. With these cap cans being taken down extremely easily. Ooh, Dom is going to be pushing up in the 90 hallway as well as Vadix has already made his way there as well. Damage is going to give the call out. Up over towards site. Reloading. Come for me. Air trap is ready. Ah. Reloading. Taking their time Reloading. trying to fig figure out where to go as Dom gets the first kill. Off on the sprays. That's going to be the blitz. I believe he was playing downstairs. He was playing downstairs, but as well as Flix. Oh, Flix is going to try to push up to figure out where he's at. The shield president's putting a lot of pressure on the defending team as Dom takes out yet two more, followed by Home Shot taking down Rain. And now it's gonna be all up to Flix, who's not on site. Gets one. Gets another, and now it's gonna be a 1v3. Maddox not getting too aggressive. Tries to bait out Flix here. Users down and they do not have a lot of time left as Vadix is going to get that final kill off on the flicks and will take yet another round for NH. 
Oof, the hip fire. Wow. F6 just got eaten alive on that last play. Dom pulling in a nasty three-piece, bringing up to four kills with seven assists, as well as home shots sitting in top right now with ten kills. That's double digits. And we're only on, we're just hitting round six. S sadistic. What do you got to say, bud? <laughs> what else is there to say, man? It speaks for itself. You guys are so well organized. I yeah. wish I was a little bit of a better player. If you guys ever need a bullet <laughs> sponge, let me know. <laughs> yeah, if you ever need... Uh, I mean, it's it just practice. It's so much practice. And a little bit of natural-born talent. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but then again, these guys, they they don't play like we play video games. You know, like, they don't they don't play like you and me. These guys practice. They have... Uh, they, they have strats that they run over. They do scrims every single day. They are just constantly up in their aim. They play this game religiously. You know, like, they don't, they don't treat it as a game. They treat it as a job. And to be able to get to the level that both NH and F6 are, you have to play this game every single day. Whenever, you know, whenever you have a, a possibility, when you're just going for a break, when you want to just play casually, that's when you go into ranked. You want to just get warmed up, play ranked. You want to just have fun, play ranked. But if you want to actually get serious, you know, do practice that you need to do, um, all, you know, all that, you gotta, you gotta play like your life depends on it. Seems Vadix is already pushing his way over into Art. Sees that the hatch is open. If someone was to drop behind him there, they could have taken him out. Maybe not. He's going to truck his way already up the main stairs. He's going to make his way towards 90 hallway. Yeah, doing what a shield does best. Wasting no time to put that pressure onto the defending team, letting them know he is there, letting them know there is a shield that they have to worry about, and they cannot just forget that he's there. Nitro Nitro Ooh, C4 does go out, but just misses! Home, sh yeah, home shot who does run out quick enough to not get taken down there. As Remnants is going to get the first kill. And that's going to be sprays from down below, which means that, yup, Flix is not going to be far behind. Making his way up to Red Stairs and pushing his way back onto site. I'm reloading. Ooh, bandit trick onto that wall there. Flix does come in to try to get the kill, and he does take down Home Shot. That's going to be their top fragger off the board. Sitting there waiting to watch over 90 hallway. Pings are going to go out as Flix is going to try to get another kill here. And he does not only get the diffuser, but takes down Eclipse. Gets a little too aggressive and tries to take down Dom. Dom is going to get that refrag. Diffuser is down, however. As Remnants is going to take down Bacon, Fadix is going to take down damage. Now it's going to be all up to Rain in a 1v2. But he's just not able to do it as Vadix is going to clean up that final kill off on the rain and will take yet another round four NH. My god, they should have banned that shield. And now a word from our local neighborhood sadistic. Yeah, you definitely definitely can't do much with that, uh, that flash, you know? Yeah. That, that shield's a powerful thing, man. If you notice too, he doesn't get aggressive. He never puts his shield down, even when right. you know he knows they're flashed. Even if they try start running away, he's always hip firing. It is just constant hip fire. Yeah, I definitely want to drop that defense. Mm-hmm. However, the rounds are going to switch now, and NH is going to be going on defense with a four-two lead, and that's a very comfortable lead to be going on a defense here. 
because now, uh, yeah, now F6 is going to be the ones that have to try to bring it back here on attack. No shield being brought onto the board, so NH isn't going to have to worry about that. But they will have that IQ into play, so they are going to have to worry about all the gadgets that they bring into the board, not just the Legions, but the Valkyries, Cade, and the Jaegers as well. Nothing's going to be able to hide from that IQ. Bringing the castle to try to slow down F6 for making that push onto site. Let's hope he uses it effectively. Oh, we might be going for what could be a possible spawn peak here. Is he going to go for the run out? Nope, decides to not get aggressive and makes his way off of his life. I was, uh, I was expecting a run out there. But a drone works gonna go off in the master bedroom. Oh, I like this right here. Castling off this window as a way to, you know, have something to hide behind. Kind of using it as a makeshift wall there. No one really pushing up astronomy stairs. Rain is going to be the first person to finally get that wall open off on the bathroom. Hopefully get a sight over onto astronomy. Shrey's working over his way in walk-in closet. If Eclipse isn't careful here, he could get picked off by somebody going for the peak. Ooh, shots going off as Flix is going to be the one pushing from the other side as Twitch. He's going to be pushing with damage. They're making their way towards Trophy. A lot of drone work going out to distract the defending team here. A lot of intel going out as well, but they're not really pushing too aggressively on the site at the moment. More or less just holding angles, waiting for someone to push them. As Vanix is going to get the first kill as well as Flix and damage. Getting that refrag on a home shot and Eclipse. Flix getting another one off on the remnants and Dom is going to get that refrag off on the sprays. The fuser's going down. Ooh, shots do go out, but aren't able to connect fully as Rain is going to be the one to take down Dom, and now it's going to be all of combatants to try to clutch this round. And Vatic just isn't able to do it, as Flick is going to be the one to get that final kill off on the Vatic, who will take the first attacking round for F6. And with a top out at almost 70 viewers in the stream today, welcome everybody and thank you yet again for this collective game day. We are, uh, we're experience, experiencing one of the, one of the good ones. What do, what do you got to say on that, Trey? It was definitely a good match, you know, sometimes slower is definitely faster. You know, like I said, keeping those corners and <clears throat> those, those tight angles and stuff like that can go a long ways. But sometimes the rush helps, you know, catch them off guard, but... The guys definitely got it down. Oh. Vatix is not playing friendly here as the Clash will be brought onto the board and in a response will be Capitao being brought as well. Knowing that F6 struggles a little bit on that shield presence, they're going to have to try to figure a way to, to stop him. However, with the Clash, though, I feel the best way is to just not get scared. Rushers, you know... Try, try to rush her, try to get try to get at her as quick as you can. Have a teammate with you to watch your back. But if she plays on site, that is gonna be it is gonna be a, a little bit of a presence, a little bit of a threat towards F6 if they aren't careful here, so. Get a good look at them. 
This is the scoreboard, by the way, for everybody wondering. Home shot still sitting at double digits. Hasn't pulled in a kill in the last couple of rounds, but doesn't really seem to matter too much as he did do his work on defense. Dom coming in as well with only six kill, but he's got nine assists. That's not easy to do. Ooh, Eclipse is gonna be playing over in bathroom. They don't drone him out if they aren't uh, if they aren't careful here. Oh, and drones do go out. Eclipse is gonna make his way back down astronomy stairs here. He's gonna make it make his way off with his life. However, F6 is still going to know that he is somewhere over there. Oh, as well as Remnants playing 90 Hallway. Ooh, Damage trying to get some shots from down below, but he is going to be taken off by Eclipse, who is still downstairs. They didn't get him off in that room. Damage playing a little bit too comfortably from down below. His team unable to get that, uh, to get that room clear off yet. Drones are going to go out. The 4v5 with a minute and a half left. Planting toxins. And it seems Flix is going to be taken down by Eclipse as well. That is going to be the second kill for NH, and now it's going to be a 3v5. Bacon seeming to flash his two of his teammates there with the ying. As Eclipse gets yet another off on the bacon, and now it's going to be a 2v5. Eclipse just a huge presence towards F6 right now. Taking him out one at a time. A little bit of a late reaction time by Rain. As Rain gets taken down by Dom. Not to be all up the sprays. As Dom gets another. And will take that flawless round for NH. And takes yet another round. Now it's 5-3. And with that being said, they have got to win one more round to bring it over into game point. F6 has to do something to try to bring it back here. Or that undefeated title is going to be taken. So far in the match, how you feeling, bud? That was pretty good, man. <clears throat> definitely enjoying the play between these two teams. Like I said, you can definitely yeah, see the dedication and, and the, the hard work these guys put into to being able to perfect their craft. Yeah. If you notice, too, that was... Uh, F6's push is a little bit slower on attack right. than, uh, than NH's was. NH was very aggressive. They were quick. Um, wasting no time to try to get hold of the outside of sight of upstairs, you know, getting rid of those roamers, doing what they had to do uh, compared to F6, who is just a little bit slower, taking their time, working a little bit more on drones, but not being able to do anything effectively with it. They drone it out. Intel does go out to their team, but they aren't just making a strong enough of a push to be able to do anything about it, unfortunately. As now NH Hello. is going to be going upstairs in the trophy stationery. Oh, continue. I would say there's always time for a comeback. Oh, there always is a time for a comeback. And with F6 being the undefeated team, you know, if any team was to do it, it would be them. New feed up. Cam's going to go off into Master Bedroom. No IQ, so the only way they're going to find these here is to be able to just... And 
I, I guess, see them with their own eyes. F6 Rain is pushing over in a 90 hallway, getting a little bit more aggressive, but as the, uh, as the hard breacher, he's need to be careful. No drones going out. He is just rushing in. And just like that, they already have control. Oh, shots going off on the home shot. Home shot taking quite a bit of damage and, and with no dock as well. It's going to be a little hard uh, to try to get in those 1v1 gunfights. Throwing yet another concussion by Rain into that door knowing there was a Jaeger there. Huh. Like a five-man hold on site with a soft roam by Eclipse, who is going to start working his way downstairs. And yeah, around to the other side of the map. Ooh, Remnant is going to get that first kill off on the rain. Shots do try to go back out, but unfortunately they're not able to connect. And that's going to be their hard breacher gone with no... None of their hard breaching, but uh, none, nothing got opened. All the walls are still up. And now they're down a hard breacher and a man with a minute left. Eclipse is slowly making his way around. And he is going to take down Flix. Again, doing nothing about this roaming presence. Bacon is finally going to get that refrag off on the home shot. But Dom is going to be taking sprays down, as well as getting down himself. And Dom is going to get yet another off on the damage. And that's going to be a quick headshot. And there goes the... And there goes Bacon as NH Eclipse is going to get that final kill off and will take them to game point. This is it. F6 has to bring this off to a tie. If not, NH is going to take this. They're going to take this home. And they're going to beat the undefeated champs. Sadistic. I'm just <clears throat> listening to, you know, the, these two top teams and the, the hard work that they're putting into it and seeing these guys, you know, just running over top man they're just killing it right now you know it's it's just it's, it's, it's great to watch man it really is yeah I'd it's say not, it ain't uh, over till it's over but i mean they're just doing a phenomenal job yeah it, it's definitely hard to say that about any team you know that don't don't want to say you know it's looking like it's going to be over but man with the way that it's looking here if <sighs> If F6 doesn't find a way to come back, if they don't find a way to, you know, do something to just stop this aggressive defensive play by NH, it looks like they may be the ones to take it home. I want to see F6 come back for a time, you know, bringing it to a 6-6, but they're going to have to work overtime if they're going to be able to do so. And here we go. This could be the final round for F6. Hopefully, uh, you know, ho hopefully in that in that time they had to pick their operators, they may have had a little bit of a talk, a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a game plan to say something as to how they're going to be able to take these guys down. See, a smart play would be to go up top and to just open up. Yeah, there you go. To open up that uh, floor from Master Bedroom off on the kitchen to be able to see both, not only both the mirrors, but as well as being able to get, you know, anyone that's sitting on these walls off of it. C4 
seems, however, damage is not going to be doing that. Eclipse is going to get that first kill off on the rain, pushing up into Master Bedroom, and that's going to be the Diffuser down. And Eclipse gets yet another off on the sprays as damage is going to get that refrag, but now they're going to be in a 3v4 with their hard breacher gone. So a minute and a half at play here. And H just holding angles. As it seems like, yes, they are just sitting on site. Damage is going to get taken down as Remnant Scott's not one but two with the C4 as he takes down Damage and Bacon. And now it's going to be all up to Flinch. It's a 4v1 with 45 seconds left on the clock. As Remnant gets the final kill off on the F6 Flicks and does take the game. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. F6, the undefeated champions, finally being taken for one game by NH. Congratulations to both team. What an astounding performance. Whoo, what a game. Oh my goodness. What do you oh buddy? Trey. <laughs> that's just that's crazy. That, Absolutely crazy. I mean God, the guy's just putting in work. Putting in work, man. And now we're gonna get uh Eclipse in here for his interview. Man, he's gotta be he's gotta be feeling pumped up. There's, uh, there, there's no way this man can't just be, ju just be a little bit giddy after that. The undefeated champions finally being taken down a game. F6. Who would have, who would have known? Who would have known? Oh, man. Good game. That was, that was just an insane game by both sides. Um, uh, first and foremost, I want to say good. It was, it was definitely a good try by, um, by F6. Again, there's my um. I need to stop saying that. Um, but that was a good try by F6. They held it as well as they could have on defense. Attack, they uh they they just weren't able to stop that present of Eclipse, man. His roam game was just insane. And speak of the devil, here he is, Eclipse. How are you feeling, buddy? Ooh. Make sure to include Fucking your audio great. too before you get before you get too crazy. Make sure right, you include sorry, your audio. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, well, you're, say, it's gotta, included. Gotta yeah, the, yeah, we're good. Gotta let the Twitch get, gotta let the Twitch, uh, get excited with you, man. How you feeling? Undefeated champs get taken down by the underdogs. NH, buddy. Feeling good, How man. How you feeling, feeling right feeling now? Feeling great. That's, that couldn't have went better. Couldn't have went better. Yeah, that was, uh, that was one hell of a match. Your roam, your, your roam game was just nuts. It was just nuts from start to finish. That match was it was insane. So good Thanks, job dude. for that, Thanks. you know. Um, before we I guess get into this interview here, a couple things I want to say, GG, to you and to F6 as well. I know they played their hearts out tonight. Um, so you know, GGs to both of you. GG, GG. as well as uh, you know, is there anything you'd like to personally say to uh, F6? Well Personally, to F6, I mean, hell of a game. They they had us going, and uh, that uh, that master bedroom hold really threw us for a loop there to t to tie it one one at the beginning. So uh, kudos to them. Or yeah, it was master they held, I think. Um, but kudos to them on that one. That really threw us for a loop, and then we uh, we adjusted, and it it couldn't have went better. I'm thrilled. But GGS. Yeah, GG's all around for sure. Unfortunately, I do not have too much time because we do have another game that we do have to get ready for here in about uh, 25 minutes. So before, I guess, uh, Trey, is there anything you want to say? Eclipse, by the way, this is uh, this is my friend Trey. He's the person that came in last second to uh, commentate. And this is actually his first time ever commentating a game. Trey, is there anything awesome, you'd man. like to say to him? Uh, you, you guys definitely killed it. The, the, the teamwork, you know, it's it's definitely a, a craft. It has to be well-rounded and developed. You guys definitely got it going on, man. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem.
Yeah. Um. I I guess what all I gotta say is, man, that upstairs that upstairs play by you when you guys were holding kitchen on that last round. I'm surprised damage being the Zofia didn't you know didn't impact that uh ceiling off on the site to get those um, mirrors off. It was it was a little. Well, but to I, go to go into yeah, that continue. a little bit. Um. So I was up there. I, I knew they would be pushing that because I saw the IQ. They knew we were running a pulse. So I, I knew they were going to be pushing upstairs to try and take that, take out our pulse and blow that wall downstairs. So, I mean, I should have been droned out. Like, they droned me out almost every other time throughout the entire game. I don't know why they didn't drone on that last round to make sure it was up there. Up, upstairs was clear. But, uh, I mean, I was an easy drone on that. I was really surprised when he actually walked out the doorway. <clears throat> yeah, but that was and then, uh... and then the IQ trade. I was I was like, what? <laughs> but it's all good. Yeah, well, um, I, I like uh, there's nothing else I can really say. I mean, that doesn't speak for it itself. You guys did one hell of a game today. You brought in a show. Uh, we topped out at 70 viewers, I believe 70, Damn. 75 roughly. So yeah, congratulations on that. A lot of people were watching. Um, and with that being said, I guess before we set up the next game, I'll give you 30 seconds to, you know, shout out, you know, whatever you want, social media, merchandise, upcoming games. I know you got something to say about beating F6, the undefeated champs. You know, you got to have something. All right. So, well, first and foremost, shout out to NH and all the members I know that were watching that game. I appreciate you. The team appreciates you. Uh, shout out to the team. Great, great win. And, uh, Great communication, great everything. There's nothing I can say that was bad from that round. Um, I promised my boy Homeshot I'd shout out his Twitter. So uh, Homeshot R6, make sure you check it out. Um, you can also check out NH Merch. I can post it up in the Inside Collective at some point. Um, we got a great designer and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, to F6, I mean, this is this is kind of, a, kind of back at Bacon, but uh, I hope that was enough content there, that game. That, uh... That was definitely a no content wink. for sure. <laughs> wink, wink. wink, wink. But no, that was definitely up, good, good game. Good game. Like uh, by far our, our biggest competition. Like great game. Yeah. Well, um, with that being said, Eclipse, thank you uh, for taking the time to come in here again. Great performance by you and your entire team. Uh, nobody was really slacking behind on that. Dom was a very well powerhouse home shot in the beginning with that four K. Oh, yeah. Very well done. Um, so again, you know, congratulations to all that. Uh, Trey, I want to thank you for coming in here last second to, you know, taking this time out of your day to do this with me. I appreciate no, it. No problem, man. And congrats, congratulations again, guys. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Thanks for casting. No problem. Of course. And uh, with that being said, I've been Mex. Uh, thank you guys for coming here to watch the Collective Game Day. Please make sure to stay tuned because in about 20-ish minutes, roughly, we do have another game coming up here at 7.30. So make sure to check that out. That is going to be the final game of Week 8 for Collective Pro League. So, uh, yeah, make sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram at Collective underscore Esports. Make sure to follow, like, subscribe, whatever you guys got to do to show us love. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit.